I'm here at Creativation 2019. I'm here at the Gel Press booth. I'm, a booth. I'm super excited um, to be here. And I wanted to show you a quick way to journal. I don't know about you guys, but I'm always running out of time to just create. And so coming up with this idea, it's fast, it's easy, it's simple, and we're only using a couple of products. So if you want to pan down, I'll show you how we're going to do it. So I have the large um, gel press plate right here. We're also using Joggle's Disbound Journals uh, pages. And so I always like to start with a base color. I'm just gonna add some paint. I don't really need too much. I'm just trying to cover the pages for now as that bottom layer. I like to use the flat side of the journals because it is watercolor paper, so it's a little bit textured on one of the sides. I'm not worried that I'm not covering the entire page. It's no big deal because I'm gonna add layers later. It's a little dry here in Arizona, so the paint is drying kind of quickly on me. But the, the purpose is really just to add some color to that bottom, to that blank page. I think I might take one more, see if I can get some paint on there, just so I don't waste it. There we go. <coughs> and so once I have, here I have four pages that have color on them. I'm gonna add a second layer. And I'm going to add that layer by adding some texture. And we're using Creative Art Textures by Joggles. I've designed a couple of them. This is my favorite one. It's got the word Possibilitarian on it. And I absolutely love it. So we're going to add some texture with these wonderful rubber Creative Art Textures. I'm going to pick a different color. I think I'll go with this beautiful color by Dina Wakely. And again, I don't need a lot of paint even though I have quite a bit on there. But. <laughs> and you just press the creative art texture into the paint and peel it off. And you can see that it lifts up the color. What's nice about these is that you can use multiple textures on one page. I'll take one more, put it on this side. But instead of trying to cover the whole thing, I'm actually only gonna pick up a little bit at a time. So here's the yellow on there. I don't wanna cover the whole thing. So I'm just gonna press it lightly, pick up a little bit. Do some on the bottom, pick up a little bit. Then I'll take another page, do the same thing. Pick it up just a little bit. Okay. And so what's gonna end up happening is that you're gonna have all of these pages that coordinate together. So right now I have four pages that are coordinating. I still have some extra paint left on here. I don't want to lose that. So I'll just take a print of that. And this is called a ghost print, which is which sometimes come out to be some of my favorite prints. I still have some paint on here. I want to use that up. Just trying to clean the, the gel press plate while also creating a print. Okay. Now I'll add a third color. Doing the same thing, only picking up a little bit of color on each page. Time. And I don't even want to waste that color, so maybe I'll just press it on one of my pages here. And then I'll just press my pages in there. Again, I'm only picking up a little bit of color.
and I have all of these coordinating pages. They're so cool. So you can see, I mean, depending on your color palette, whatever you're using at home, if you start off with the base and then you start gradually adding one layer at a time and, and mixing in some texture, then your pages are all going to coordinate. Again, I don't really have a lot of time to do this, and so it, it's a fun and fast way to journal. But once I add color to all of my pages, this is nice too, I'll end up keeping that. Once I add color to all of my pages, I like to finish them with a pop of black. And I do that by just adding a little bit of black right onto the gel press. I'm using it as my palette. I'll take one of my foam stamps. I love those foam stamps. Can you talk about those? Yeah, these are from Joggles. Um, I've got about seven, I think seven designs right now with them. They're super heavy duty. And I mean, they're, they're just super fun to, um, to play with. So I'm just picking up some black, putting it on my... I will post all the Joggles links below for these stamps so you can find them easily once I upload the video tonight. So I'll put the pages right here because it's a little bit better to see them. I just want to give you a close-up of them. Really, really cool. But it's just a fast way to journal. Um, and you can add photos to these. You can add, you know, anything you want. These are still just backgrounds, but they're full of texture. If I had a, a paintbrush and a water cup, I'd probably add some black splatters to them. And, you know, you can make a journal really, really quickly. And what's great is that these pages are flat, so they work great on the gel press. And, and they can be put back, I know, in the journal, in the right. journal the easily. The disc journal, you want to show that? Uh, yeah. So. so they come with these discs, and you just either, you can pop them out, and they're super easy to pop back in, which is really really awesome I'll be honest it's one of the reasons why I got into art journaling because of that yeah me too so thank you so much you're welcome thank you so much Kat thanks for watching bye, bye.